I'm sure many of you by now know that I have been a very long-term Google Pixel fan, and one of the biggest reasons that I am such a reliable Google Pixel fan is the way that Google does Android on Pixel devices. It does look very, very similar in a lot of ways, exactly the same as stock Android with a few Google editions, or Pixel editions, I should say, added on top. Now, I know a lot of you don't really love the way that stock Android looks. Maybe you prefer uh, One UI, maybe you prefer Oxygen OS, maybe you prefer some other skin. In today's video, we have something very, very interesting. Reason to believe that stock Android, and therefore Pixel's version of Android, might be seeing a pretty major redesign coming very, very soon. For this, we are looking at an article on Android Authority penned by, of course, Michelle Rahman. I would heavily encourage you, in fact, I would implore you, do go click the link in the description down below to see Michelle's full article for yourself. Go give them a click, turn off your ad blocker, and look at some ads. Don't just watch my video because that makes me feel kind of gross. Google is working on a big UI overhaul for Android. Here's an early look. So what we have here are a number of changes that were hidden inside Android 16 Beta 4. Now, it's not likely that when Android 16 rolls out here relatively soon that all of these things are going to be turned on. Some of them may never be turned on. They may be modified before they are released, and some of them perhaps all of them, will show up in a later build of Android, maybe the QRP1 or something like that, one of their quarterly platform releases. But we have seen, I believe, as Michelle references here, yes, that Google has recently confirmed it will unveil a new version of its material design theme at its upcoming developer conference, which is Google I.O., probably happening sometime around next month. So this might be sort of an early peek at what they're going to be showing. So let's just look at some of the images here. So this is kind of small. Again, go to the main post and go look at it yourself. But you can see some differences here, left versus right, talking about the Wi-Fi and airplane mode icons, basically before being sort of filled in. This is almost kind of like an older style icon. These are subtle differences, but it is a difference. You can see here that the 5G icon does definitely look a lot bolder. It looks kind of strange to me a little bit, but it's definitely bolder. And then the signal indicator has also changed, maybe also for enhanced readability. Now, just like I showed you, the new battery icon is turned sideways with the percentage inside the battery when you charge your battery rather than getting this sort of old, very nondescript uh, icon, you're going to get a new colored icon. And as Michelle wrote up here, it's green when the device is charging and it's red when the battery is low. This kind of reminds me of what Samsung just did with One UI 7. I wonder if there's any kind of animation that plays like in One UI. That would definitely be cool to see. Now this next one is really cool and it's something that we had seen rumors of for a little while. You're going to be able to edit the tiles at the top of the screen. I remember when this first rolled out, everybody's complaint was, man, it is wasting so much space. Well, they're finally addressing that. As you can see, you can resize these toggles, leaving some of them large and some of them small. You've also got a little minus button here to quickly delete a tile, and you have little plus buttons to quickly add a tile. No longer will you be long pressing and dragging things up and long pressing and dragging things away. I always thought that was kind of clumsy and annoying. This will be much, much easier. But also notice just the way that this looks in general. Scrolling down to this larger image here, we're not just looking at a blank black background, right? This is actually just a blur happening, showing the content below. Maybe that is your wallpaper, your home screen. It could be whatever app you're in. And I think that that does look very, very nice. This always looks super basic and plain to me. And on a device like a Pixel that was always very bouncy and colorful, this just seems strange. This looks, I think, really good. And there are plenty more places where they have added blur like this when you're in your recent screen rather than just a plain white background or maybe I think it's a black background if you're on dark mode. Now, again, it is a blur when you pull up your app drawer. It's a blur. Lots of blur effects everywhere. Frosted glass everywhere. You may hate this. You may like this personally. I think it looks really good. 
The same sort of thing is happening with your lock screen. When you're entering your pin, it's no longer flat and blank. You have the frosted glass blurred look. Honestly, I think the only real question I have is whether or not Apple owns the trademark on frosted glass, because if they do, Samsung's UI team might be in a lot of trouble. You guys remember back in the day when you could actually change the icon shape on a pixel? Well, that apparently might be coming back. You can see that appearing down here as well. Now, all they need to do is make it so that every icon, when you turn on the theming, is forced to theme, and we'll be really in pretty good shape. In addition to all this, we have changes to the way that the volume UI looks, not just on the side, but actually the expanded one. When that opens up, we have changes to the way that the system settings look, as well with a new splash of color and several other things that if you wanna see, you're gonna have to go to the article in the description down below. For me, while I have really enjoyed Google's sort of minimal look that they've had for a little while now, I think it definitely is past time to spice things up a little bit. And I think that their UI has always been a little bit disjointed. In some places, it feels very vibrant and bouncy and colorful. And then in other places, it felt very flat and dull and boring. So it seems to me that a lot of the things that they are targeting are specifically aimed at those places where things were sort of dull and boring, and they're adding splashes of color to those things. And I think that is very smart. Some of the other changes, like the things to the icons up there in the status bar, I'm not quite as wild about. That 5G font looks a little bit strange to me. The battery icon looks a little bit strange to me as well, but it's probably something that I will adjust to with a little bit of time. Regardless, as mentioned earlier in the video, the next Google I.O. event is in 20 days, 43 minutes and 26 seconds. So we don't have a whole lot of time to have to wait before we should be seeing this stuff kind of talked about. That is the assumption if they are truly unveiling the next iteration of the Material U theming system that they have been using for quite a while with Android. So guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think of these changes. Do you hope that they all come to fruition, that none of them come to fruition, or specific ones that you really like? Other changes that you would like to see Google make to their UI, and whether or not you would love to see some of these changes make their way to other devices as well. Oftentimes, Google takes inspiration from other OEMs and rolls that stuff into Android, but sometimes... Other OEMs take inspiration from Google. It can go in both directions, which I kind of think is what makes Android fairly interesting to cover when it comes to stuff like this, because you just really never know what's going to happen. Big shout out, of course, to Michelle Ramon for putting this article together over on Android Authority. Do go check out that link for the third time in the description down below. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.